We're in the sunshine outside the Mediterranean Conference Centre in Malta, in Valletta, the capital city, outside a very historic building, actually, the Conference Centre. And with us now, I'm pleased to say, is one of the competitors at the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2016, a young man who's no stranger to Radio International because we've interviewed him at least twice on the show before, and it is Stefan Galia. Hello, what a pleasure. Welcome it's lovely to, the, to see you Welcome here. to the programme once again, yes, Stefan. Yes, for sure. As you can see, I'm all covered up. It's sunny in Rio Hall, but I need to, you know, make sure that my vocals are on point. Exactly, for sure. exactly. Now, I think it'd be fair to say, Stefan, that the dream has come true for yes, you this year. We've sure. spoken to you before, uh, outside to Ali in the rain, I think, once yes, in the yes. wind. And yes, we spoke yes. to you last year when we were... I went towards the show last year, actually. Yes, at the we, we asked yes, you who yes, you yes, thought yes. was going to win, and you said Amber, Amber which yes, was 100% yes, yes. correct. So we yes. know you know <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> but how has the experience been for you, having actually it's got through at the... F I think this was your third try for the This was my third try, and I was third time lucky. Um, it's very surreal, you know. I must be honest, last year I had a really good year here. I had my single escape in the top ten charts. So, you know, everything kept coming, you know, one step after another, and this was the cherry on top of a perfect cake, I must say. <laughs> yes, and we uh, gave the debut international radio play to Escape, I'm yes, happy to yes, say. Yes, you did. Thank radio you very much for that. <laughs> Thank you. And it uh, got to number one on the airplay charts here? Yes, yes, yes. I was very lucky and I was very, very happy because, you, know, you know, I was competing, you know, with quite a number of big artists here. So that was already a huge achievement in itself. So competition is nothing new to you, Stefan, because a while ago, you have to remind me which year you took yes. part in the Malta Junior Eurovision. Yes, that was back in 2009. I believe that was six years ago now, something like that. And you had uh, a record, uh, Disco Lemonade was one of yours? Yes, that was my debut single. Then I waited a year because I was focusing on my studies. I needed to get back into the studio. And then I worked with Carlo Gerada and Mushu on Escape. And it was a success. So. And well done for that. So let's now turn to this year's song, which is Light Up yes, My Life. Yes, Light Up My Life. It's written and composed by Ilva and Linda Persson. They're a Swedish duo. I would like to send my regards from here to them because they're following me very closely. Um, Light Up My Life is about that kind of teenage crush in a way. You know, you are expressing your feelings to someone and it's literally, the lyrics are literally a poem to that particular person, the person that lights up your life. <laughs> And you just had your first rehearsal on stage this morning, Stefan. Yes. How did it go for you? It was very good. The sound was really good. I really enjoyed it. The, um, the audience at the, the audience following me gave me a very positive vibe. Um, we are still looking to arrange a few camera shots here and there, but on the whole, it's looking really good. So you've had your in-ear monitoring set yes, up this yes, morning. You've sure. performed on stage, and then for I guess sure. you it was went my first time using for them the... actually. All oh, right. So and I felt really comfortable with them. So I'm going to use them for all my gigs from now on because I was usually accustomed to using the normal cube base monitor Just on stage you, yes. yes 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 they're much better so uh, technology has caught up with Stefan then. yes for sure <laughs> finally after all these years Eurovision had to make me wear the in-ear monitors but I'm very very comfortable using them so after you'd been on stage I guess you went to view your performance and you, yes, you, yes, you, we you did. want to change some shots you said. yes we're going to change a few camera shots here and there not much because on the whole it's looking really really good even the backdrop that we have the producers really envisioned what we had in mind, so I'm very, very happy. The one thing I would ask, very professional. One thing I would ask you about that, Stefan, you've got the song, you've got the lyrics. When it comes to the background, do they make a background for you, send it to you and say, do you like this one or do you have any input No, no, beforehand? I was involved in the input. I was looking at a number of visual images and I said, ah, oh, that would look good if it's mixed with this. But to be honest, even though it's a love song, the typical, you know, kind of love song, I didn't want my backdrop to be too lovey-dovey, you know what I mean? The typical cheesy love. So I wanted something a bit different. I wanted more lighting projections going on there, you know, something more visual and easier on the eye. And to match the up-tempo nature of the song as well. Yes, yes, exactly, because it's quite an up-tempo number. And we'll be seeing the uh, state-of-the-art back projections when we see the semi-final on exactly. Friday evening. Of course, and if you're going to attend the dress rehearsals on Thursday, you'll Absolutely. get to see everything. Absolutely. Now, one thing I must ask you about is the uh, selection for the Malta song. You've got through this time mm -hmm. uh, for the third time of trying Stefan so mm -hmm. congratulations there. thank you very much but one of the worst aspects of it I think 
is when you have to go and sit on Sharabank, the TV oh show here in Malta, yes. where they then announce which 20 of the singers all exactly. are, are getting through, and the whole audience is everyone who's got to the final 50 or 49. Yes, all the whatever. artists, and it's the most popular Friday night show, and everyone would be watching, so you can imagine how daunting it is having to sit there and wait. I experienced it. This was my third time. Last year, I was also close. I didn't make it. This year, they left me to be the I was the last finalist you to were be the announced. Last, yes. <laughs> so by that point, I thought it was over because there were so many big names there still waiting. And then hearing my song, it was surreal. It was incredible. I couldn't. I was like, oh my God, is this actually <laughs> happening? Well, you could hardly speak to uh, the no, presenter. No, I, I could think hardly speak. I was mumbling words. I don't even know what I was saying, and I, what I was saying was very gibberish at that time. I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> it was gibberish. But uh, the big moment had arrived, Stefan. For it did. Uh, and it of course, did. we've got big moments. And I moments. didn't sleep all night, rewatching, rewatching the video to confirm that it was actually happening. <laughs> no, I think, come to think of it, I got a message at three o'clock in the morning after that. Too. I did message you actually because I knew you were watching closely, and I and I. I knew that he sent and me your I, good luck, I, so. Watching you, I was also feeling for your mum, who I knew was at home. Yes, she was at and home. And she, she was, must have been living she every came moment. rushing to the studio, literally. And to be honest, you are one of the few Eurovision fans who I keep contact with regularly. So it was very good and it was a privilege for me to message you and say thank you oh well thank you I got Stephen. so many messages my <laughs> phone was going to explode <laughs> <laughs> well let's hope you get lots of congratulatory messages later in the week exactly. Stefan when get through and we see you after Friday night and again on Saturday night fingers, fingers crossed, crossed fingers crossed to be honest um the fact that I'm here competing with the final 20 because Eurovision is so huge here it's like Sweden's Melody Festival and it's very big there and here it's the biggest thing that you can do so making it to the final 20 is already big to get your name out there. Absolutely. So whatever happens, I'm not seeing it as a competition really. I'm seeing it more of as a more of a platform to get my music out exactly. there. Exactly. It's it's the exposure that you need in the it's, local media. It's huge. You've it's been huge. On, you've been done loads of I've interviews done loads and TV of media, shows but this is nothing. It's nothing compared to what I'm doing now. This is the biggest thing that I've ever done. And the main level. question is then, Stefan, are you enjoying the experience so far? I'm enjoying it to the full, to the full. I had a bit of nerves before I went up for my first rehearsal, got used to the stage, but then I really enjoyed it. And well, hopefully it showed. We wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very and much. We hope to see you on Saturday night on the stage. Fingers as well, crossed, Stephen. fingers crossed. If Thanks. you like my song, vote. <laughs> Thanks very much for talking Thank to us. Thank you very Stephen. much. It's a pleasure.